Well, good morning. How are you guys? Welcome back to a new day. Um, and uh, I've got this towel. So Apple's done a little bit of an oopsie today. Just a little one, not a big one, potentially a medium sized one. They have confirmed that the Apple Watch Series 6 is not only gonna be the name of the next Apple Watch, but also that it is coming at the event on Tuesday. Now this was already like 100,000% confirmed, but now it's a million percent confirmed because it's from Apple themselves. Wanna talk about this? Drop a like down below, hit subscribe for more. It's always so fun uh, when, when some guessing is over ahead of a big unveil. All right, so the Apple Watch Series 6, how do we know it's gonna be called this? Well, G Rambo, a writer for 9to5Mac, did some digging and I mean, this is big brain stuff. This is for the big brains out here. So if you got a small brain, click off the video. You're not gonna understand. One of the features on YouTube that's been around forever is tags. Um, and there's always this conspiracy that like tags allow the video to rank better. Even though YouTube says it doesn't really mean anything, but like tags that you put in your video information. Like I'll show you what one of mine looks like. These are what my tags look like. Um, so Apple obviously does the same thing. But if you look at their tags that are sort of hidden because they're for an upcoming live stream, you can see that there's a lot on here like iPhone, MacBook, iPad Air. I don't really think those mean anything. I think those are just general search terms that Apple wants this stuff to appear for. However, um, there is a name for something that uh, has never been announced before and that has simply been named this based on speculation until now. And that is uh, right next to series five, you can see on the official Apple live stream, they have series six in here, which uh, if that's not confirmation that not only is the watch coming at this event, uh, it's, it's that it is the name of the next generation Apple watch. So the name is confirmed. Apple is not breaking with the naming scheme. To me, it'd be way simpler if they just said Apple watch six, but you know, they gotta make it sound more like a watch. So it's the series, it's the generation. You know, it's the it's the old timepiece on the old wrist. I don't really get it, but it's the name. So Apple Watch Series 6. And then on top of that, of course, if it's in the live streams tags, then yeah, it it's definitely coming at this event without question. Now, if you are still not sold, if you're still like, I don't know, that's still not good enough. All right, Buster, you're making me work. You make me pull out the big guns, but I'm not afraid to use them. So if you go over to Apple's YouTube channel, coincidentally, you can't find the Series 5 introduction video or any videos about the Series 5 anymore. Huh, that's odd. Now, even more strange than this, and I don't think this means anything, I think they're just kind of preparing, uh, but the iPhone 11 intro videos, like official, Apple YouTube channel videos have been privated or, or taken off the site. Now, if you are out there and you still think the iPhone is coming at the event next week, uh, which every reputable source has said that it is not, you might lean back and say, well, if they took down the watch videos and the watch is coming, you know, that's confirmed. Why would they take down the iPhone 11 videos? Like maybe Apple's just gonna release the new iPhone 12s at this event. Listen, I don't know, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda had that same thought, I'm not even making fun of you for that one. I was like, well, if they took down the watch and they took down the iPhone 11 videos, but left up the iPhone 11 Pro videos, does that mean something? Does that, does that mean anything? I don't know, okay, I don't know. All right now I'm telling you it doesn't mean anything. I'm just saying stuff that makes you say, Hmm. Now, in regard to some other products on the way, we have uh, some confirmation from Digitimes, around 61% accurate, that Apple has started production or will start production in the fourth quarter, I should say, of the A14X chip. Now, this has been rumored not only for the next iPad Pro that's going to support 5G as well, uh, this is actually supposed to be the same chip that goes inside of Apple's next MacBook. So as so many were predicting, Apple is basically taking and then slightly tweaking the standard iOS chips and putting them into MacBooks. So A14X essentially is confirmed to be coming to the next Mac. It's weird to say that, like the iPad Pro is gonna have the same processor as a MacBook, but at the same time, they were already so close uh, in like Geekbench and performance, it sort of makes sense for Apple to transfer that over. The other interesting story that I have for you today is that Apple has made their own face masks. Now you may have known that they've made a face shield, but they, uh, they not only made their own just general like three layer Apple face mask, they made something called 
like this invisible or clear, completely clear face mask that is FDA approved, meaning that like it's basically just as effective and safe as another mask. We actually do have an image of what the Apple mask looks like and uh, you know, it kind of looks like a little bit more futuristic than your standard mask, but it's kind of cool to see that Apple has designed and manufactured their own masks and they made sure to do it in a way that was not interfering with the supply chain for any other mask making things. So um, it has been, you know, a slow couple hours in the news and that's why I'm covering the story, but I, I still think it's cool. You know, you're the first to know about the Apple face shield and mask and stuff that they just, they're uninformed about because they don't watch iUpdate, but you should get them to watch iUpdate. And I appreciate you guys for watching iUpdate every single day. All right, that's all for this video. It's a short one today. Drop a like uh, if you enjoyed it, learn something new, hit subscribe for more. And uh, well, thanks guys for the support. Appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one.